How's it going, everybody? Regis here, and welcome back to Parasite Eve. We're starting off on day two, fusion. Oh! I don't know. About fusion shells? Hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened that uh, happened last night. Okay, so the next day. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives and no one, no close friends. She was sick often away, always on some kind of medication. The people at the opera said they would they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Interesting. Her apartment burned down right after the incident. So we have no info on her medication. So what now? The spontaneous combustion stuff's all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on. What? Like those... ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I don't know. I believe her. After all, I is the only witness so far. But if you're going to take on a suspect like that, you better ask Baker for the better, for a better sidearm. My sidearm is perfectly fine if I say so myself, okay? I read your report. Stay, still hard to believe, but we, can we can't we can deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapon department and give this permit to Torres. He'll help you out. Aya, you've got too much to carry around. Leave something here. I'll keep it in weapon storage. Uh, we'll leave items. Um, we shall select the theater key. We'll oh. oh, I have to actually move it over there. Um, the rehearsal key as well. I don't... Okay, give me a second. There. Okay. Um, we'll leave some medication. I don't need all of those. Yeah, yeah this should be good. And a mod permit. Interesting. Oh, cool. thanks, boss. My question is, is uh, why do I need the rehearsal key still? Can I go back to the party hall? I always like Chrysler Building. All right, so what we got going on? So talk to the boss. Talk to that. I don't believe her, or I believe her. After all, I just don't. Oh, okay. So why, why are you retelling me this, buddy? A safe spot. Yeah, it's a safe spot. We're not saving them. No need to save. How the hell do we get out of this office? Oh, I see the door. Can I? Ah, I guess I wasn't hitting X hard enough. Or I guess on the right spot. Who are you? Kathy, the weapons department? You didn't hit your head last night, did you? It's right down... I did hit my head, actually. I... I think I cracked it. Let's find a zappy gator. This one? This is the closest pre-rendered background. <laughs> Ooh, what's in here? Cool. You Taurus? Don't look like a Taurus. You're Wayne. Hey there, good looking. Got the crap, Wayne. Where's Taurus? At Baldy? Who knows? So, what it'll be? Shotgun? Rocket launcher? What? Wayne! Yes, sir. Look, look at that shitty ingredient. Idiots! Like you are the reason... Wait, idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to the weapon storage. You're far from ready to do handling guns in here. Uh, okay, she's... Really? Like, really? And guns for protection, man. Of course, I need some equipment. The last night's case, I heard it was quite a mess. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will do too. Will too. Sorry, it's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you. 
But I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. Guess I can't stand or send you off empty handed. Yeah, you're right. Here you go, a BB gun. Like, I swear to God, if he gives me like a BB gun, I'll be. Here, this is the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. Looks decent. Not sure how well it is, but looks decent. Captain Baker already notified me. Show me your modification permit again. Oh, oh, okay. I see. Which gun? That's not a gun, but I can mod that apparently. 13, that's 10, that's 9 for P energy, 8. Critical is higher. I have a few guns, so that's a 2, that's, ooh. 17 damage, that's 35. I mean, work, I've been rocking with a gun that only did two. Okay, we'll, we'll mod this. What? Alright, just wait here. I'm not sure what I was doing. All set. Just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. Wise words to live by. Psst. Don't tell Taurus, but you can use your tool. I'm a woman. The tune. Oh, oh, you're good. Okay, never mind. You can rearrange equipment parameters, add effects to tweak your equipment. Show you some cool tune up techniques. I have saved before this. Tune up a Kaikon. Using the tool item, you can add and remove parameters and added effects to your weapon and armor to create your customized equipment. If you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, the equipment will disappear. Oh, okay. So it's like ripping the gun apart to get the one piece. Got it. The number of added effects that can be attached to a piece of the equipment is determined by the number of slots on that equipment. You can increase the number of slots by getting your equipment modified by the NYPD weapons department. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. Got it? Trust me. You never have too much firepower. Of course, can't use them without bullets, so you better make sure you always have your club. Just in case you know. Now, why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Uh, we'll store some equipment. Tribute. Bonus points. I'll check that out in a minute. Normal armor. We'll move that here. Uh, I should probably put this gun up. Can't put the gun up? Is it because it has ammo? Reload it, I guess. Now. Can't put you there. A rifle. Uh, reload. And by reload, I mean put up. Okay, so well, let me move the gun now. Okay, so, okay, because I guess I have that gun equipped, so I can't move it. I'll keep that gun here. I'll keep the Kevlar vest. Uh, back. There we go. And that way I know which one's stronger. Store item, discard junk, cancel. All right, give me a second. Let me see if I can, nope. Yes, this one. I have that. Good. Change equipment. We'll go to the. We'll go to. It's just better in bullets. I kind of want to do that. But three. How long does it take for the rifle? That's 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 my question. That's not the rifle. I will put up that that one weak gun. Armor. Critical goes down, but everything goes up. Uh, Store equipment. Select. I already forgot what gun it was. The crap. I think it's that one. I think that was the weaker one. Then we'll store the normal armor. Actually. 
don't know what that. I don't know. Yeah, that should that should work, right? Right. That's false. I don't want that. Uh, Kevlar vest. Unless I'm supposed to put that on the vest, I I don't know. I I am trying to figure this out. Uh, nope, 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 nope. No more protect. Let's let's see. Sorry, right, sorry, folks. I know I'm 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 really bad at this. Okay, okay, no, no. I think I was right. I think I was right the first time. Select that storage. Then weapon. Okay, I kept I kept the right gun. I kept the correct gun. Actually, uh, it's one. I could do that. I just want to reload the gun. That way, if I ever need to switch to it, I have ammo. Where is... Reload. Alright, what do you want to do? Uh, How do I... How do I... Store, store, discard, cancel. I don't want to discard junk. What are you talking about? You got no junk with you right now. I want to... How do I? Oh, is it telling me I don't have to come to him for it? Is that what he's saying? Uh, plus three, that gives it a plus two. Uh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I, I kind of want to give it to the, the pistol. But. I don't know. We'll hang on to it for right now. Tell you what, we'll do that. We'll hang on to it for right now. Uh, how the hell do I get out of here? Look at that butt. What's this room? <gasps> puppies! No! I want to see the puppies! Look like German Shepherds. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Puppies. Wish I could give her a nice Christmas dinner. Dogs? Can't read that. Can't talk to the dogs. Dog was glitching out the drawer, out the room. So. Authorized personnel in weapon department. Ah. Can't go in there. Guess this is the exit. Nope. That's just a uh, brush up against the camera. Alright. Who the hell is that? Hey, kid. I thought you were wearing a robe. Hey there, you lost? Uh. Ben! Daddy? You look smug, kid. So this is Ben. Ben, there is Aya. This is Aya. Now, what are you doing here? Here. Tickets. Oh yeah, the concert. Sorry, son. Daddy's real busy today. I promise I'll make it up for it. Fine. Ben. Legit thought he was wearing like a robe. Yes, every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father, too, after my mother died. I've always been grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. For now? I don't know. Is this- a, that's how it sounds. How the hell do I leave? I follow the kid and get up? Oh, okay, there's the exit. Alright, let's go see where we gotta go. On search, maybe? Hey, what's your plan there? That was weird. What a case to have on Christmas, huh? Yeah, sure. That was weird. I can turn right, but I'm just gonna do a total like two six two two eighty. All right, we got Carnegie Hall. We got NYPD. Carnegie Hall. 
We just went for a trip. That was weird. Hey, you can't just come barging in here. You ain't getting no special treatment. I'm a cop too. I have my gun out. Say, saw you on TV. You're from the 17th precinct, aren't you? You're the one that survived. Yes, I am. And I have a gun, cops. Tell you, my holidays are ruined because of this. That better give me an extra vacation day for this. What are you doing here? I Honestly, I wish I knew. I have no clue. I'm supposed to go speak to Daniels again? I can only go to Carnegie Hall or NYPD 17. Where am I supposed to go? I thought she had her gun out still. Oh yeah, just run around NYPD with your gun out. That's that's fantastic. Were you assigned to? Yep, saying every boy needs a father, so he fought for Ben's custody from Lorraine, next wife. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt he knows has the time to spin with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. Let us see once. Oh wait, Captain Baker's in here. Also, I know Ben's dad's a cop. Sir! Like, what was he doing here? Oh. Just there, and then I have to walk up. Okay, cool. Ah, not problem at all. Oh, you were looking for me? Yes, we're having a press conference now, and I want you to... Me? That's right, you'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. But you'll only answer when I ask you. The media is just looking for else about. They may even turn you into a suspect, you know. Let me do the talking. Good? Yes, sir. Okay, then, let's go to the beer. Meet the press. <laughs> I don't know. Huh? So, are you saying this could be work of a terrorist? <laughs> that is what we are currently speculating. How about the accounts of the officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? That was... That was due to the rare highly flammable chemical which was used to start the fire. <clears throat> Another question. And how did Detective Brea survive without so much as a minor burn? That was the result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. Wait, are you saying that everyone else on the department died because they just suck and they're bad officers? That's, that's, that is dumb. I'm asking her the question. She. That, that, that was horrible. What are you going to under your left eye, dude? She said my modded conjure were a mutation? Jet lights. Aya. Your monochondria? Who said that? Melissa, no, she says she was Eve. But according to the report, oh, but according to the report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did, did die. Her body was taken over by this Eve. What are you, what is this Eve? Some kind of alien? And people play, she's very tired and we are still investigating. That will be all for today. Why didn't Baker step up and take, like, talk about that? I, uh, I thought I told you not to say anything. Well, you weren't really saying anything yourself when he said I was asking her. I'm telling the truth, sir. And he broke his desk. This is not the point. Who's going to believe you? Only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only... Saved by the phone call. Moshi Moshe. Baker, who? What? Yes, you want. Well, put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Meet? You'll we'll have to speak up. Uh, see what? All right. Some Japanese scientist, I think, couldn't understand his English too well. That's fucked up. He was raving about some Mido something. We just said the word, dude. Says he's coming over here. Mido? Is it mitochondria? You mean the thing that the cells that make energy from oxygen? Might have, oh, might have heard about that in school. That's what Eve to had said. That it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I was just read that 
some research at the museum and wrote a new theory on them. Okay, was this the year that mitochondria was discovered or something? Because they're using that word way too much. Sir, I'm asking, or I'm taking Aya to go talk to this researcher. Go, oh, better get there before the media. It may explain what the phone call to. Her face just looks like it has that, like, <laughs> lip. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. That was that. All right, let's go. I'll bring the car around. Meet me in the front. You got it. I can just figure out how this door works. Got it. <laughs> All right, meet him up front. Got my pew pews. Lock and loaded. You sir need to stop playing StarCraft. I'm joking, I have no clue what he's playing. MOIPD, the museum. We're going to the Museum of National History. Dr. Hans Klump. Clamp. Clamp will be there. Sorry, I was reading Dr. Clamp. What's his area of research? Well, according to the paper, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria is something, but it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd. To have a PhD and to be working in a museum? Well, well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great. We're going to have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. <coughs> and I need a drink, holy shit. Oh, hey! Choco! Chocobo! Neat! American Museum of Natural History. And it has a chocobo symbol on it. That's neat. I mean, this. I think this was made before Final Fantasy VII. Could be wrong. It's been a while since I've visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Love these things when I was a kid. Are we going to see a Triceratops? Might be closed today. Well, let's see what that security guard can do for us. I want to see a Triceratops. They're my faves. Let me know down below what your favorite dinosaur is. I'm here. Hey there, how you doing? That's an interesting flashlight. Doing okay. Pretty cold. Hey, though. How about yourself? We're with NYPD. We're looking for Dr. Clem. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's here up in the room right now. Did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him. That's all. Thank you. It shouldn't take long. I know, Lou. I know. I, uh, sir. Oh my god, he's giving me so much stuff. Please. Place is pretty creepy. Uh, you'll find him in the research lab on the second floor. He is very helpful. Are you going to die? He's been pretty busy for the past couple of few weeks. Doesn't come out there. Thanks. Oh, cool. Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy to let us keep track of who comes in. Thanks, Ayo. Gee, Dan, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? That book's over on the counter. Thanks. The notebook. Yep, that should be enough unless you want to leave me your number, too. Le <laughs> don't, don't mind me, lady. I get uppity up in this old age. Oh. Hey, are you? Over here. You say over there, but I want to explore the museum. I want to go to a museum. I haven't been to one in years. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. It wasn't open. It was closed. It was just unlocked. Daniel doesn't even know the difference. Excuse me. Hello. Hey. Dr. Clamp. 
That's a clamp. I hear you. Uh, we're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Weird. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? Mm. This is this What is this? It, it's bright. That's all I know. I have to look away at the other computer because how bright it is. Yeah, this man. There's another bed. I know him, I think. Is one A and one's Eve? Is that what this is? Or is it Aya? Aya, Aya. I'm gonna say Aya. What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Yeah, I... Would like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Well, you're interested in my work. The suspects mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you? A suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. <laughs> do you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like? Do you? <laughs> the mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Aya. Oh, sorry, Aya. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite. I, my face is on his face. Okay. Parasite. That's been an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? I, I got to Give me a second. Okay, there we go. We cannot live without... The mitochondria. Do you understand? Mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between exons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. You know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000... V? I guess volts of electricity? It not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to the heat energy as well. Then the combustion from last night were... For a human to burn and it melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. And all, all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time. A tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with such so much energy. You're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live. But in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? I can't be doing voices. My throat's hurting. <clears> throat> ha, you have no idea the mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is just merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. That is creepy. I mean, it's true, but that's still creepy to think about. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. That signal is initiated by the mitochondria, when it is relied on the graded genetic information in the nucleus to cut off and in excess dies. The same could be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates 10 times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. The decreases the in, in energy production is associated with the aging process. So are you, still, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this continu consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate 10 times faster. Since the beginning of, the cre of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at a rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cogn cognition, no surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with the human ancestry. In 1987, it was then announced that there was the roots of all human can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding may was announced around the world, and with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they say called the root of all this? Mitochondria Eve! Blended name, just incredible. I, uh, Eve! Suspect 
yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, what? Hey, if you know so anything, you better not hold any back anything. My God, Lumen, why are you meowing so much? She called herself Eve. Sorry, I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. Dip, dip, can't hear you. Daniel, forget it. Let's go. God damn it. Did he lock himself in that room? Carnegie Hall, Museum, NYPD? Uh, I guess that's the way I was supposed to go. I wasn't sure. What the hell is going is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. Okay, what? We'll be right there. Aya, right, looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station, Aya. Hang on, I'm kicking it into turbo. That's not turbo? I'm surprised how there's little traffic here. I mean, you should only go like maybe a hundred feet and then all of a sudden traffic. This is New York. Oh, okay. I thought we went back to uh, the police station. Or not the police station. The uh, museum for a second. Alright. Hip tap. Alright. Hey there, lady. The whole place is going nuts. Wonder what's happening. Tell you what. I don't know. But I am telling you one thing. I gotta go save this real quick. Because my throat is hurting from doing voices. Didn't warm up my voice this morning, so. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Alright, we say. Why am I calling the department to tell them about the department? All right, we're going to save. And with that, folks, we're going to leave it off here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a like. Comment down below what you think of what other games you want to see me play. Share with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, folks, keep on gaming.